All right, when you first uh, get your baller installer going on the right screens, it's actually going to have a uh, thing stuck right there. That's called the full DMD. So I'll show you how to fix that. All right, baller installer is going to install this on your desktop, the pinup folder. So you just open that. And that's going to have your uh, popper configuration and your pinup popper front end. Pinup popper front end is what you hit to uh, start your pinball machine going. And then the configurator is what you use to add games and things like that. If we go over here to C though, all right, so in your visual pinball folder, tables is almost all you have to worry about. So when you download a, a game, there's gonna be a table and that's gonna be your VPX file. And then there's gonna be a B2S file and that's, sometimes they come named the same thing as the game, but they, they need to be a, the exact same name as the game. So sometimes they'll come with a different name and you just name it, I usually go like this, like you pretend you're renaming this, but then really you're just copying it so that you get it exact. And then you would go onto your B2S file and rename that like that and so you basically drop the b2s file and the tables fo file into your tables folder and that's contained again in your visual pinball folder that is inside your v pinball folder on c so let's just go back here and then if your table comes with some music you would just drop it in here see like the judas priest you drop the whole folder in there whatever it's named when you get it and uh it's got all the songs in there, so you don't actually drop the songs in, you drop whatever the table, they'll give you this. It doesn't matter what it's named, it'll be named something when you download it already. Um, and that's it. There Now, if you go into this VPIN main folder, then that's where you put ROMs. And so a ROM um, may come with it, but lots of times it'll just tell you what the ROM is, and then you have to download it separately. Real easy to get. You just put like, Let's say AFM underscore 11 U ROM file download into Google and you'll find it um, usually on the VP forums, but you leave those zipped up. So it'll come zipped and leave it zipped and you just drop that in the ROMs fo folder and that's inside your VPIN main folder in your main place where the tables is right there. Sorry, I'm just going up and that's in your visual pinball. So as far as your menu, when you're flipping through the menu and you want to see like, there's a little wheel right there and then there's an image of the play field, your DMD is going to have an image and the back glass has images. This is before you pick the game, it's just looking through. You're going to put that, those in your pop media folder. So if you look in here, there's visual pinball X, I click in there and then the back glass, it has to be named the exact same thing as your game once more. Like remember when I copied the the name to that one, you would have to name it the exact same thing and you drop it in, it could be a JPEG or a PNG or it could be an MP4. Just name it the same thing and it'll come up on that screen. So right there, those are all my back glasses from my menu because I have like 300 games. And then you drop your DMD, whatever you want to be there in your DMD folder. And you would drop your play field in the play field and the wheel in the wheel folder. So again, if you want a wheel for your game, you just put in like ACDC wheel image, VPX, and it'll come up. All right, so the only other thing is if your table has a pup pack, then again, I'm just gonna show you from C where we're at. So we're in our visual pinball or our V pinball folder. And we're gonna go again to our pinup system, but we're not in pop media this time. This time we're going to pup videos and you basically just drop your pup your your like let's just say John Wick or whatever dirty hair you just drop that folder and that's going to have movies and things in it or sometimes it'll just have like a bunch of uh let me just find one here that you'll understand anyway I can't really find it but basically you're uh when you download a pup pack you're going to drop that pup pack into your pup videos folder and it's just gonna have like one name on it. And uh, you know, inside it will be a, all kinds of crap. 
that's pretty much it. Now I'll show you how to add games. You're gonna go over to your uh, pinup folder. All right, again, I'm in my pinup folder. I'm gonna go to pinup popper configurator. I'm gonna show you, so if I went to media, oh, first we'll go to games manager. And then up here I would go to add new games. This is after I dropped everything in my folders. And then I might go here and I might just pick Visual Pinball X. And then I would hit scan for new games. And it's going to have all the games that are in my thing right there. And then I just check off one that I wanted to add. Boom. And then I hit add games to the system. And it will add them. And then that's it. You just close this up. And then when you open up your, you say exit and launch, or you start your pinup program again, they'll just be in your menu. Global configuration. On the first page, it says that's your startup volume level. That's about the only thing I use on there. Okay, but emulators, if, uh, let's say it wasn't finding your games, you would want to go in here and make sure that it had the right games folder path. Okay, mine does. So, if it didn't, that could be one reason it wasn't finding your games. That's how you save it right there and close. But here's the media manager. So, when you open this, you got all your games in here. That I, These are all the games I've added. So, this is the menu we're talking about. So if there was not a file in here, it would be yellow. So if I want to just grab files off the internet and I didn't want to rename them and put them in the wheels folder and all that, I would just pick a game. Okay, now I just do these three or these four, the wheel image, the play field, the DMD, and the backlash. But if I want to do like, let's say audio, so that when I click on here through the menu, it goes, it plays a song or something, I would just hit right there. And then this is online, buddy. And now this is Austin Powers we were clipped on. So now I can sample this. I click on that, hit preview. Okay, that one's not gonna work because my, this is like a family household. So let's try this one. If this is wheel images. Um, oh yeah, see, no. Or backlash images, it would show you and um, you can pick the ones you like, and then you... there we go. That's a good one. So I'll hit close right there, and I'll hit download and use, and then watch this. Now that just turned to green. That means when we're clicking through the menu, let's just do it. So you don't have to save nothing. We're just going to close this. Again, that was your media manager, and we'll just exit and launch. So I come over here. Hit enter. Now, Austin Powers, see, like, there's no sound here, but. Austin Powers did not have a sound, but now. It makes that sound. So that's awesome. This one, all I did is I put an MP4 in the backlash folder and named it the same as this table. And now we got all this going on. So it's good stuff. To get that thing off the screen in the corner right there, you're gonna go again to your pinup folder right there. And I'm gonna go back to my pinup popper configuration, click on that. All right, and then I'm going to go to Popper Setup, and then we're gonna pick Screens and Themes. All right, and then you're gonna see this little doodad. So what you wanna do is come down here, and if you have three screens, you're gonna go DMD, and you're gonna put Force That Baby On. Okay, now that's going to make your, I don't have one on here, but that's going to make your center screen start working your DMD. And then you're going to go to full DMD, and that's the one that's stuck on your play field right there. And you're going to put that to off. 
Because it's actually, if you have your three screens set up, it's going to be to uh, force on or force pop. Or it's, it might just say show. And you're going to go like this, and you won't see the off right there until you scroll up. So you scroll up, and you'll hit off, and then that'll get that off your screen right there. Again, that's if you pick the three screen setup when you were setting up. And then, uh, oh yeah, so after you do that though, you have to put save pup pack. And then now it's saved in there. And now you'll have your DMD when you're flipping through the menu. Now if you want FX3 to work, and you download Steam and get FX3 uh, where it goes and everything, you go to em emulators. And you would go to Pinball FX3, and you will see that that is not checked. So you'll just check that off. And then when you go to your games manager and go to add them, they'll all show up. And then this is the software that I use to make my keyboard work. It's called Joy to Key. Just download that, and it's real easy to, to use. And this is just an EG Starts button kit, and it just plugs in. With my USB and um, it thinks that it's joystick number one. If you plug in another one, it'll be joystick number two. And you can actually press the button. So like if I were to press this, if I were to press a button, it tells me what button I'm pressing. So it's real easy to program. You just click on it and you do all kinds of stuff. Super easy. All right, you guys. Enjoy.